The next question is from uh, Janet Hook of the LA Times. Uh, this is for Senator McCain. Senator McCain, Governor Schwarzenegger has propo proposed that California be allowed to implement much tougher environmental regulations and emissions requirements than, than are, that apply for, to the rest of the country. This is an initiative that conservatives generally oppose, and the Bush administration rejected California's request. Do you side with the governor or with the Bush administration? Well, it was some physical danger, I have to agree. <laughs> with the governor. Uh, look, I'm a federalist, and I believe the states should decide to enormous degrees what happens within those states, including off their coasts. People of California have decided they don't want oil drilling off their coasts. People of Louisiana have decided that they do. I applaud the governor's efforts and that of other states in this region and other states across America to try to eliminate the greenhouse gas emissions that are causing climate change. Now, suppose that the governor and I are wrong and there's no such thing as climate change and we adopt these green technologies of which America and the innovative skills we have and the entrepreneurship and the free market, which is embodied by Senator Lieberman's and my cap and trade proposal, is enacted, then all we and there's no such thing as climate change, then all we've done is give our kids a cleaner world. But suppose we do nothing. Suppose we do nothing, and we don't eliminate this $400 billion dependence we have on foreign oil. Some of that money goes to terrorist organizations and also contributes to greenhouse gas emissions. Then what kind of a world have we given our children? The state of California and the state of Arizona, we Westerners care very much about our environment, and we want to act. And it's no secret that I have disagreed with the Bush administration in not being more active in addressing the issue of climate change, whether it be through cap and trade, through uh, tax incentives for R&D for uh, green technologies, and many other measures that I think need to be taken. We are, sent, we are feeling here in California pollution from China. It is a global issue and we have to address it globally and I would not agree to any global agreement without India and China being part of it. But I want to assure you that we have an obligation to try to stem this greenhouse gas emissions and one of the ways is through use of nuclear power. The French generate 80 percent of their electricity with nuclear power. I think that that, uh, by the way, we now have a pro-American president of France, which shows if you live long enough, anything is possible in this world. But the point is, the young Americans care, Californians care, people all over this country care, and we have to address this issue. We can do it. The greatness and strength of America is in our innovative capability and our ability to develop these green technologies. General Electric, the world's largest corporation, is committed to green technologies. We can do it and to somehow believe that it'll cost more money if we unleash the, in unleash the innovative and entrepreneurship of America, I think, does not have confidence in the ability of Americans to address this yeah. issue. Governor, Governor Romney, what did you think of um Senator McCain's response, and just to remind you, the original question is, do you side with Governor Schwarzenegger or with the Bush administration on this issue? Well, I, I side with states to be able to make their own regulations with regards to emissions within their own states. But let's talk about our policies with regards to, to greenhouse gases and, and global warming. I think we all agree that America should become energy independent. The consequences of us continuing to buy over a billion dollars of oil a day from people who oftentimes use, use this money against us is bad for our economy, it's bad for our foreign policy, and all that energy being used is probably bad for our environment. It's probably warming our environment, and we want that to stop. So a, a unilateral action to get ourselves off of foreign oil makes all the sense in the world. Nuclear power, biodiesel, biofuel, all the renewables, liquefied coal where you sequester the carbon dioxide, those things make all the sense in the world. But when you put in place a new cap or a mandate and particularly if you don't have any safety valve as to how much the cost that cap might be, you would impose on the American people, if you do it unilaterally, without involving all the world, you'd impose on the American people a huge new effective tax. 20% on utilities, 50 cents a gallon for gasoline, that's according to the Energy uh, Information Agency, would be imposed on us. And here's what happens. I've lived in the business world. I've lived in the real economy. 
for 25 years of my life. What happens if you do that? If you put a big burden on energy in this country, is the energy intensive industries say, we're gonna move our new facilities from America to China, where they don't have those agreements. And you end up polluting and putting just as much CO2 in the air because the big energy users go there. Okay. So that's why these ideas make sense, but only on a global basis. They don't call it America warming, they call it global warming. That's why you gotta have, have a president but that just, understands the real economy. Just so I'm clear, you said you side with the states, that means you side with I'd Governor Schwarzenegger. I side with states one. being able to make their own decisions, even if I don't always agree with the decisions they Governor make. Huckabee. When I was a governor ten and a half years, I was chairman of the National Governors Association, which means that my fellow governors uh, selected me to chair the organization of all 50 governors. Let me tell you why I believe that Governor Schwarzenegger ought to be able to carry out the plan. Because if he's right, every other state's going to copy him. And if he's wrong, every other state's going to recruit the jobs that he lost in California to their own states. The genius of our system has always been that if you have states acting as laboratories of good government, rather than mess it up for all 50 states, you get the chance to find out, does it work? And if it does, we all copy it. And then we make a little change, we claim it for our own. If it doesn't work, we do everything we can to make sure that the jobs that maybe he loses, we get in our own state. It's the genius of our founding fathers when they had the idea of federalism. Thomas Jefferson was right and Alexander Hamilton was wrong. That debate we thought was settled. But we've got a federal government that wants to give us unfunded mandates at the state level and doesn't want us to experiment with ideas in good government that might solve a lot of the problems that our country faces. Do you agree with Governor Schwarzenegger on this one? Um, yes, I think California should do what they want, and uh, we all recognize that. But one thing that hasn't been emphasized here that should be emphasized when we're dealing with the environment and, and gas house, uh, you know, uh, greenhouse gases, is property rights. We've, we neglected during the Industrial Revolution property rights, and governments and big corporations got together and colluded, and that's what has to be reversed. You have to emphasize the property rights. But I would like to take one minute, since I didn't get a chance to answer this uh, discussion on, on conservative versus liberal. We're, we're gonna have, I promise you, we're gonna have, you're going to have another opportunity to do that. I, I promise you, coming up in like two minutes, or two questions. I, I just want to go right now to, to, uh, to Janet, uh, Janet Hook for a question to her Governor Huckabee.